Aurora, I appreciate you making this work. Um, I know uh, as we've talked here, you got the, the kids might come into the picture and that's just fine. Not a problem whatsoever. Um, but as we get started, maybe kind of a little bit of background about your family, you all, and uh, how that relates to this horse. Uh, okay, my, my dad and I have been working on breeding quarter horses <laughs> since um, I was a, That's awesome. a, a young girl. And so uh, we got into it and I was showing before I got married and we were really into it. And then um, Gabe and I got married and we dairy farmed for three years. And then uh, we decided that uh, my husband was going to go into carpentry and we built a house out here on my family's ranch. Um, and I'm kind of the only one out of 14 grandkids that was ever interested in taking over that ranch and I just happened to to get lucky and marry a guy who could handle it and a year after we built the house my dad was kind of done with outside management and asked if we wanted to take it over and we decided to get back into farming after a very you know stable financial <laughs> position <Yeah. laughs> and uh, yeah and so I got back some, you know, I always had at least one or two horses when we were on the dairy farm. And then I took back over kind of our herd of horses. And once we got the ranch kind of going in the direction we wanted to, dad and I started um, just getting back into our horse habit. Awesome. Um, yeah. And so we kind of had a good start with some horses that we had shown and then you know, we just always ranched on our show horses when they're done. And so this Colt's mom is actually a daughter of Highbrow Hickory that we took yeah. her mom down to Texas to get bred to Highbrow Hickory. And um, so we had his mom her whole life and she's awesome. Really? Yeah, yeah. She's the grittiest, toughest mare. She will just leave her part out where we live in southwestern wisconsin and we've got it might as well be appalachia you know and <laughs> yeah, so, I know. <laughs> yeah yeah so it's she, it's very pretty though it's, it's very pretty beautiful yeah. yeah it's really really beautiful but um yeah so she's just super tough and then we were looking for a stud to breed her to and we bred her twice to einstein's revolution and we actually have this colt's older sister and she's oh, we're okay gonna, plan on breeding her to shine chick shine we love her she made a kid okay. by age four my dad is in his early yeah. 70s and rides her and then this colt um like i said was going to be my project horse and now i'm yeah i'm just busy and so he's <laughs> available <laughs> yeah. but he's, Expect, he's, expecting child number 10 that's awesome right yeah yep. <laughs> hey, little guy a little brother we have seven mm, girls yeah. so uh we're really oh hoping. my goodness yeah yeah the boys are really hoping for, uh -huh. for some help hey hi, hi buddy yeah, yeah we're gonna sell the horse for you hey, hi, i don't yeah. know hey. it's gonna be the right age for him <laughs> yeah i know everyone's That's gonna awesome. complain as soon as he leaves because they're like yeah. he'd be a yeah. he'll he'll definitely uh, be a kid's yeah. horse but well, it's, it's neat like, though with all the all the you know the pedigree and the the history with this mare with this gelding yeah. his sisters his mom which it, it had to be fun at the time taking them down and breeding to highbrow hickory i mean all of that stuff i mean it, it, i think people appreciate that I, I do so yeah yeah let's uh let's jump over onto his page real quick he's obviously a pop up here he's a very pretty colt um how big do you think he is, Aurora? I think he's right around 14.1, pushing on 14.2, I would yeah. imagine. I'd say his dam is probably 14.3, but she is built like, okay. like a chain. Well, he, lo and I think, uh, he looks like it. Yeah, I think he's going to be, he's a little prettier than his sister. He's just got the cutest yeah. head, and he's yeah. got brindling on his back which i think is really yeah. neat we breed the dung we yeah. like that got a lot yeah. of dung factor yeah 
No. Well, and I mean, this is a this is kind of a neat cross. You take a Rainer, you know, and Einstein Einstein's revolution, and and you cross that up on a highbrow hickory mare. I'm getting to the, you know, but I mean, talk about a, a cow horse pedigree, right? I mean, she kind of is. He's going to fit the bill for both of those. He could go either way. Well, and his granddam was a mare that we had, and she was a super cool mare. Um, he okay. actually reminds me a lot of uh, another colt that his granddam had. Just his good mindedness and his willing yeah. to go to to go to work. And this colt, like his half uncle, I guess he'd be. He's never even thought about bucking. I don't think that this colt has a mean thought that goes through his head. Yeah. And that's something yeah. I I really like. His mom's her barn name is Sweet Mary. And uh -huh. she's, yeah, she's got a really awesome disposition. I mean, obviously with as many kids as we've got, we just we don't do mean uh around yeah. here. And this colt is just well, and, and you, you all yeah you all ranch there so i have to assume too that he's been exposed to a lot of different things just in the short you know two years he's been around yeah all our horses are growing up in these hills and they really learn how to use themselves because yeah. they're going up and down deer trails and cow paths they have to cross creeks they drink out of creeks they're yeah. you know they're they're getting to be a horse too socially he's been living with a herd of horses with the variety of ages so i think okay. that that really helps them form a i want to say uh a good sense of themselves and where they fit yeah. in and yeah. security. yeah yeah and respect for respect sometimes too yeah. right yeah yeah yep. well um, I know, I mean, so he's a, he's a young horse, right? He's a, I want to make sure I say this right. He, he's a, he's a three-year-old now, but you all haven't, he hasn't been rode aggressively, anything like that. You all have actually just kind of got him going and gotten him started, right? Yeah, he's just been super soft in the face. He looks to stop. I can tell that he, when he starts turning, I think he's going to be pretty powerful. Um, okay. I think if we kept him around here, we'd probably be roping calves on him for our summer roundup because yeah. he's okay. just going to be quiet enough to do that. Um, okay. But he just, he kind of felt like he was smart and willing and he had a lot of ability. Okay. And he, and I okay yeah we have it down here we we really have about you have about ten rides on him so he's just started um, yeah you know st started enough that you know we'll show you this video here folks but I mean really just started enough to show that he's going to be gentle you know yeah and and, and that was the second time I had been the one to start him and that was the second time my husband ever got on him he okay. when I when I wasn't walking because of this surgery. He brought him down to the house one day and he goes, hey, I just, I just, we call him Chunk. I just rode Chunk through a herd of cows and then he rode him down to the house and I was like, great. I've never <laughs> ridden him outside ever. But, you know, that was the second time we really ever rode him outside. And I'd say about the 10th time he'd been ridden and he just, he can just kind of take things with a stride. Well, I think that, that speaks to, you know, you all raising those horses like you have and, and handling, handling them and gaining their trust like you have. I mean, then they, then you have these kind of starts and you just really set these colts up to go do whatever it is that somebody wants to do with them. And, and you can tell it. I mean, he's just a level headed, looks like a good minded colt. Yeah. And he's pretty and he's got the color and he's got the yeah. he's heritage ranch eligible. Um, okay. I think somebody could do just about whatever they really wanted with him. Yep. Um, he's going to move nice. And I sort on his full sister and his mom was like a cow machine. Um, okay. well. Obviously Einstein's revolution, you know, there are very few horses that have done what he did in the show pen. Oh, 
Yeah, over 300 and some thousand, I think he won himself. So kind of crazy. And like you said, I mean, highbrow hickory. I don't think anybody doesn't know know those bloodlines on the cutting side. So kind of, yeah. a, like I said, kind of a neat cross. Yeah. yeah. And there are people kind of get a glimpse of the country these colts are raised in. But it's definitely, uh, I know I like it down there in southwest Wisconsin, or I call it southwest Wisconsin. Um, yeah. anything else we need to say about this cult? I mean, I, I know, um, uh, you visited a lot with Amanda on this, but I mean, no scars, no blemishes, straight legged, Bigfoot. I mean, I know he looks yeah. like it to me, but he's, he's up to date on everything too. Uh, okay. I work pretty close with our, uh, shoer. And so we really work to get our, we don't like our horses to get behind on that. I think that really yeah. sets them up for the rest of their life. And yeah. he's vaccinated and wormed. Um, I'm really big on that too. Good. And um, we're pretty careful about having a really high quality mineral. And, you know, they get mm -hmm. rotated on good grass and they have high yeah. quality hay. And I just think my, my all that might explain up. his name, Chunk. Oh, my daughter, <laughs> our, our 14 year old, is obsessed with the Goonies. So oh, okay. if you've ever seen the movie The Goonies, he's he's chunk because when he was a colt, he was the chunkiest one out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's a neat. Uh, but okay, well, I, you know, I know you have a lot going on, but I want to make sure that we also encourage anybody that has any questions to give you a call. Um, you know, I know we've had a couple of people ask about riding, but with 10 rides, guys, I mean, I, I think all we're all all y'all really wanted to do with 10 rides is just kind of demonstrate to people how quiet he's going to be, but probably not in anybody's best interest on a 10 ride colt to be changing up riders without it being, uh, you know, yeah, that, that I would agree with you. We need to, we, we don't want people to have that expectation, but I think the videos do plenty to show you that he's going to ride good. Um, when you get it, get him home, you can, you can move on with the program, taking whatever direction you want to go. Um, anything else we need to add? I think that about covers it. I mean, okay. I definitely didn't climb on this colt's back. My surgeon would have never forgiven yeah. me. Yeah, I, no, I would have no. never ever done anything like that. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Yeah. But, yeah. but uh, I really, I'm really excited to see where he goes, and I hope whoever ends up with them will keep us in the loop and give us plenty of updates on him because uh he's pretty special so absolutely perfect all right well i appreciate aurora I appreciate you taking the time i know you have a lot going on but folks reach out call whatever we'll get you whatever information you need and uh best of luck bidding yeah yeah right. give me a call if you've got any questions and don't don't hesitate to reach out